Hello everybody, my name is Brent Johnson and I'm with Heartfield Automation. This week I'm going to talk a little bit about the map view visualization that BNR has to offer. It's a great product from BNR and basically what it is is it utilizes the HTML5 visualizations that you see on your current web pages and web browsers this day and age. And we actually put it onto an industrial HMI that can be used in your plant. It's great because it makes your machine look like it's up to speed with the 21st century. It utilizes all the great tools that you get with HTML5, CSS, and JavaScript. So let's jump into it. I'm going to show you some of the great features with this visualization package. All right, guys, here we are. Notice that this is our visualization screen that we created utilizing the map view technology. Basically what the MapView technology does in the background is it creates an HTML page, a CSS file, which is cascading style sheets, and it uses JavaScript for different functionality. You don't need to know how to program that language. You don't need to be a web developer for that. Just know that that's what MapView utilizes in the background when you create a MapView project. So first you'll notice it's, it's tied to an IP address, which is in just running on Google Chrome we can go ahead and we can enlarge it. That's pointing to the IP address of this actual controller. And I'll get into that here in a second. So this pan, this is actually a panel PC. So it's actually a visualization panel and it also has a PC on the back end. That PC is running Automation Runtime, which is the real-time operating system that BNR uses for all of their controllers from the low end all the way to the high end ones. And this guy is really powerful. You could run multiple servos off of this. You could run coordinated motion control off of it. You could even do open robotics where you're running a robot and running the kin kinematics of the robot right from this controller and cut out a full robot controller. It's super powerful. And not only for that, but it also shows this great visualization on it. First thing I wanna show is kind of this little hamburger button right here. Everybody knows what it is. You click on it, you got a fly down menu. It looks very modern like, the, like websites this day and age. It's really great how this is being implemented in an, on an industrial visualization screen like this. Another thing is this little icon right here for login and password information. Everybody knows what that means. It's, it's really easy for operators to understand what that means there. Notice how it flies up. It looks very modern. Another thing is this alarm icon right over here. It flies down from the top, very modern looking. It can show you what's going on with the machine. Everybody's going to know what that icon means when they see that little red one right there or if there's any alarms it'll kind of kind of be easy for somebody to troubleshoot what's going on here another great feature is you can carve out areas that have infinite scroll space that eliminates having to jump from one page to the next that's the old way of doing screens so you could put as many buttons or whatever you want in here for scroll space it also has infinite scroll space right here you can see that i'm scrolling up and down there Another great feature of MapView is you can embed high definition videos. So this is a video on the BNR SuperTrack. This is a product that BNR has that I've talked about in previous videos. But what this gives you a good idea of is that you could embed different videos for troubleshooting purposes of your per of your machine that you're trying to you want your customers to understand. So it, it's really a really great feature to embed types of different types of videos in here. You can also embed PDF documents. Again, this would be great for troubleshooting or part ordering or whatever you can imagine. You could embed any type of PDF in here that you want to. Another cool feature is the, since this is, this is actually a multi-touch screen, we can do pinch and zoom and then it's going to auto scale for you. You can see that it auto scales and you can just pinch and zoom. Super powerful. We can add a scalable vector graphic right here. So we can go ahead and you can add a scalable vector graphic. You can zoom in on this thing. It's not gonna get pixelated like a JPEG image would. It's a really great feature of, of this HTML5 programming or MapView uh, software. If you wanted, this is kind of a power user thing, but you could also add third-party 3D models in here. You can see that you can have really simple buttons here that are kind of slide buttons and stuff like that. Kind of a cool feature that people are used to seeing in the web world. We can import a GIF. So basically that's what the web world uses to show basic images that are moving and stuff like that. This is not a bunch of different pictures that we're showing many different images of. It's just a GIF that we've embedded in our project. Another cool feature, since we're using cascading style sheets or that's what's being used in the background, it's really easy to change the colors and background schemes by a click, by a click of a button. So basically we can just change the 
the colors of the buttons and stuff like that. So this is really just a bunch of wireframes and then that CSS file just changes the colors of everything. And it's really great if you wanna semi-customize these screens for different customers that you're trying to sell your machines to. We can also embed the system diagnostic management tool in here. So you could have that right in the screen. You could go into the hardware and see what's going on. I've talked about in that this, this system diagnostic management tool in many other videos that I've done in the past. That's about all I had for you guys th today. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you do like these videos, feel free to go ahead and click subscribe to my channel. I talk about this type of technology on many other videos. I hope you have a great weekend and please stay safe.